Shalom from Jerusalem. So what do we have in this week's Parsha, Bahar? Well, amongst other things, the Torah tells us of a person who becomes poor, and so he must sell his field. Now, how is this person redeemed? There are actually three ways in which this person can be redeemed and redeem his field. First of all, the Torah tells us, his redeemer who is closest to him, he shall come and redeem his brother's sale. That's right. He has a relative, rich Uncle Tom. Well, Uncle Tom comes and pays for the field that this person had just sold. And the field goes back to his brother. That's right. That's the first way. The second way the Torah tells us that redemption can come about for this person's field is if the person has no, has no redeemer. He himself has to redeem his own field, meaning that he saves up enough money in the coming months and he puts that money aside. And now he has funds in order to repurchase back his own field. He redeems himself. That's the second way. Now, if there is no relative to come to redeem or to help him, and he cannot redeem himself, then the sale goes back to him at the end of the time period, the Yovel. At that time period, automatically, the field is redeemed. Now comes along the Or HaChayim, the commentary, and tells us that this, this paragraph that the Torah relates to us about the field is much more deeper than just talking about any particular field. Actually, this portion over here is talking about the redemption process of the Jewish people. No less. That's right. The redemption process of the Jews. How will the Jews be redeemed in the end of days? It's huge stuff. Very, very huge and very heavy. So the Or Chaim teaches us that in reality, we are talking about the Jewish people and their exile. The Jewish people and the exile, the Gullus. Jewish people have been thrown out of their land when the Romans, so long ago, destroyed the Second Temple. Since that time, the Jews have been wandering from place to place, as we all know. That's right. How will the Jews be redeemed? How will they come back to the land? How will they rebuild the land? How will it happen? The Orachim tells us that the first possibility, the first choice, is, of course, Rich Uncle Tom. That's right. Now, Rich Uncle Tom are represented, they are the rabbis, the leaders of the Jewish people in every single generation. They have the power to awaken the Jewish people to return to the land of Israel and to get back on the track that we've been solely missing for those years. That's right. The leaders, the rabbis, it's their task to awaken the Jewish people to arise and to come back home. Now, if possibility A does not happen, meaning the rabbis don't awaken the Jewish people and they slumber along with everyone else, then we go to possibility two. Possibility two is that the Jews themselves redeem themselves with their little savings that they've put together. That's right. The Jews awaken themselves. They don't look, to, they don't look to the rabbis. They don't look to the leaders. They awaken themselves, and they hop on the bus, Gus, and they head on home to the land of Israel. That's the second possibility. Now, the third possibility is at the end of days. That's right. There is no Uncle Tom, there's no relatives, there's no rabbis to awaken the Jewish people. And the Jewish people themselves are sleeping, not going anywhere, happy, in Muncieville and other such places, yes, that you know about. Then there comes the third possibility. At the end of the time period, at the end of the gullus that God had placed that eventually this would be the end. That's the time period. Redemption is at hand no matter what. 
the Orach Hayim says, Afilu Rishayim Gimurim, Chas V'Shalom. Even if the Jews are, are wicked, even if they, there's no awakening of tshuva, even in that case, there is an end to the exile, there is an end, Ketz Koyamim, and the Jewish people will be redeemed. That's right. Those are the three possibilities of redemption. And the Orach Hayim adds to us, Oy Vavoy, Ooh, woo, woo, those leaders, if they don't do their task and awaken the Jewish people as they are supposed to, to return, to have a redemption, they, the Orachayim writes, will be accounted for in the day of judgment before God. Meaning, they are given this task to awaken the Jewish people, to redeem the Jewish people, to make sure that they come back to Eretz Yisroel. That's right. Come back home. But what do we see instead? We see them going out to the golf course. We see them sitting around with their six-figure salaries and having a good time. Hey, why should we bring our communities? Why should we awaken our kilot to come back home when everything is so grand here in the Golden Medina? <laughs> so they sit there, and they're happy, and the people are happy because they're enjoying themselves. But there will be an accountability for that. That will be taken into account by the master of the universe at the end. That's right. Those people will be held accountable for their actions, for not doing their task and bringing the people back home. That's what it's all about, boys and girls. This is a tremendous secret that the Or Chaim is telling us. These are the, tr- the ways, the paths of redemption. Rabbis, the leaders have to awaken. And when they don't, oy vavoy. Not only don't they, but they do the opposite. Uh, they tell you to keep living there in the gullus. They're going nowhere. Big time. That's right. We've seen that before with the spies. Didn't end up pretty now, did it? No. So you, wanna, you don't want to be there. You want to be with the other people who awaken themselves and catch that train out. But don't catch the last train. You don't want to be caught without any way of getting here. you got to awaken yourself. That's the redemption process, and that's what we're seeing today. The Jewish people returning to its homeland. Hmm. That's what I'm all about, buddy. The Jewish people returning to its homeland. There's nothing better than that. That's what the Parsha is teaching us. That's the message. The rabbis aren't doing it for you. Awaken yourself. Come back over here to the redemption to the process that's taking place today, unfolding before our eyes. Prophecy unfolding. Be part of it. Hey, it is time to go, boys and girls, once again. So I guess we'll see you next week for the Parsha Shavuot. I'm Levi Chazel from Yeshiva Reun HaYud in Yerushalayim. Hoping to see you soon. And the devil jumped up on a hickory stump and said, Boy, let me tell you what. It's the juice. It's the juice. It's the juice.